Hey everybody, it's Jason with Parallel Reality coming back with you here today with an article from February 1st from townhall.com and it says the black swan events that could determine this election. If you don't know what a black swan event is, I, it was one of those things like I feel like I kind of knew what it was or at least like I could call it that but I really didn't know the definition of what it meant so I pulled up Wikipedia just to explain because I don't think the article does and if it does go into it, I'm sorry. Uh, but I actually have not read the uh, town hall article yet because um, I just I just thought it would be an interesting thing to go over together. So the black swan theory or black swan event, it's a metaphor that describes an event that comes as a surprise, has a major effect, and is often inappropriately rationalized after the fact with the benefit of hindsight. So let's go ahead and get into the article. And it's from Kurt Schlichter, and I don't know if you know who he is, but he's a good Twitter follow. He doesn't put up with anybody's BS. So that's always a good thing. I haven't read a lot of his stuff, and I know he's a novelist too. Um, and I think he mentioned some of the stuff from his most recent novel in here. So let's go ahead and see what they say. Uh, for a minute, I thought Trump was giving the communist fist, and I was going to be like, what? Anyway, so some of us older folks grew up in a time of normality when chaos was not the rule and weird, life-changing things didn't happen. The stakes were not that high when we were growing up, except for the whole imminent nuclear war thing. I certainly remember that in the 80s. So, but now we are regularly beset by flocks of black swan events, events so significant and life-changing that they send our society and our politics off in strange new tangents, and they now happen all the time. 9-11, the Wall Street meltdown, Trump's election, COVID, Ben Shapiro getting in number one rapid. Says the black swans are coming fast and furious, and there's no sign of them stopping. Says one or more can happen and likely will happen this year, and that could change everything for the 2024 election. Yeah, I'm not looking forward to this election cycle. I know it's already it's still it's it's picking up, but I mean we're only in February, or early February at the time of this recording. So who knows what's gonna happen in the next, what is it, like uh, nine months or so? I guess we'll find out. It says, I strongly support Donald Trump in the 2024 election, but let's face some facts. This is an uphill fight for the president and his quest to become Grover Cleveland II. A huge number of Americans irrationally hate him despite the peace and prosperity of his prior reign. Yeah, the polls look pretty good today, but the Democrats have not opened fire with their countless billions of leftist dollars. People are just starting to pay attention to politics, and some of those polls showed that Trump way ahead are now wavering. Biden could very well win this thing, which is almost unimaginably horrible, but that's the reality. Yet there's another reality. The black swans have not yet come to roost. What could take place in the next 11 months could change everything, and none of those scenarios would be so shocking as to be outside the realm of reasonable possibility. Where do you get 11 months from? The election is like early November. It's early February, so 11 minus 2 is 9, but okay. Am I calculating that wrong? Am I an idiot? I mean, don't answer that, because the answer is yes. It was, in fact, shocking is the default setting for this election year. And let's take a look at what could happen and how that might change things. So it says, uh, first paragraph here, it says, Trump convicted, acquitted, or nothing at all. It says, the disgraceful lawfare against Donald Trump is only increasing in intensity. The bizarre and unjust eight-figure hit on Trump in, the, in a Blue City courtroom last week is just the latest in what will be a never-ending series of courtroom misadventures. And yeah, that was when he got... Um, he had to, it, they was told that he got a judgment against it for, what was it, like $83 million the other day. And he had to pay that E. Jean Carroll lady who has no proof that this event that she was describing actually happened or that she'd ever even met Trump. Uh, you know, So just go look into that uh, case if you're someone who thinks like, you know, Trump deserved this. If you look into this case and, the only, and you come away with, oh, no, he still deserved it, well, there's something wrong with you. Okay? <laughs> anyway. So it's pretty soon that alleged judge in, in New York City is going to hit him with a nine-figure verdict in the New York Attorney General's utterly bogus civil lawsuit, but the real story is the bogus criminal cases. Understand that none of them have any legal merit. Zero. Not on. I should mention, too, that Kurt Schlichter is a lawyer, so he would know this. So as far as the law goes, they are a joke. But no one's laughing when the Democrats attempt to use the power of law enforcement to arrest and imprison their opponents, which Joe Biden is doing as we speak. So let's put aside how dangerous this precedent is for a moment and look at what might happen in these cases. Worst case, one or more of these garbage cases go to trial. The federal cases both look like they are wrapped up in appeals and seem likely to be kicked into 2025 or beyond. But the state court cases may go forward and Trump will be convicted in scare quotes. Because again, these cases are a joke but they won't be revealed as a joke until their blue city juries have convicted the man that they hate. Trump may even be imprisoned. What will the voters think? Because right now, polls say that the voters would take this nonsense seriously and look badly upon Trump if he's branded a felon by these kangaroo courts. But is that really so? It says, so far, all the lawfare has done is strengthen Trump's support. 
So it's, will independents believe this is justice being done, or will they see that this is an injustice in pursuit of political power perpetrated by his enemies? I don't think Americans are stupid enough to buy the latter, but there are a lot of stupid Americans. After all, a lot of people voted for Biden. Yeah, that's uh, that's true. That's certainly a, uh, <laughs> that's a good way of putting it. So it says, but there's another possibility. There's a possibility that Trump is acquitted or somehow these cases go away due to pre-trial appellate rulings. That's entirely possible. The whole throwing him off the ballot thing will go away at SCOTUS. Of that, there is little doubt. But the Supreme Court is also considering presidential immunity and don't listen to the idiot Twitter lawyers. Trump could and should win that. If the immunity issue goes his way, Trump has triumphed as he should. Well, I certainly hope he does triumph because this is all a bunch of BS. So let's keep going here through... uh, some more of these scenarios. So it says, so there's a terrorist attack. It says, the border has been and is going to remain wide open. Yeah, I'm kind of fearful of this one, especially after you saw like that video of that one dude that came in across the border and he's like, soon you will know my name or something to that effect. And it was just like, oh, okay, dude. Like, w- w- like can we find this guy sooner rather than later would be uh, a good idea because that guy's probably up to uh, some shit. <laughs> It says the Republicans squish caucuses border compromise, which is to give Democrats millions of more immigrants in return for destroying the Republican Party, seems to be going nowhere, thank goodness. The problem is that Joe Biden will continue to refuse to do his job at the border and enforce our laws. Millions of military-age males are coming into this country, and some of them want to kill us. And he says, I wrote about this in my new novel, and this is Kurt Schlichter, not me. I've never written a novel. The novel is called The Attack, which is this an Amazon link. Uh, yes, it is. So you can actually go check it out if you want to. It says, where thousands of military age males infiltrate the country and trigger a devastating terrorist assault on Americans using very simple means to maximize casualties and demoralize our country. This absolutely could happen. And I 100% agree with him that this could absolutely happen. It says, even some ex-FBI officials, the most incompetent people in the universe, have predicted this possibility and are warning of it. If we get hit by a massive terrorist attack that kills tens of thousands of Americans, and you need to know that this could absolutely happen because I spell it out for you in my novel, it will doom Joe Biden and the Democrats. Put aside the duty to defend Americans from being murdered, which Democrats care nothing about. So setting yourself up for that kind of fall is simply political malpractice, but no one ever accused Joe Biden of being smart. Yeah, he's not, and again, I'm very fearful of that happening. So it says, next one, economic meltdown. It says, we keep hearing about how Bidenomics is wonderful, but look around. Does the economy look wonderful to you? Because make no mistake, the stock market could tank, and at the current okay times for those with a few bucks in their 401ks could turn sour overnight. Imagine another 2008, and this time there are no Republicans to blame it on. A major economic downturn could change everything, especially since voters remember Trump for good times pre-COVID. This is pandemic two, lockdown boogaloo. Because the globalist elite got what it wanted out of COVID, and there's no reason to believe that it won't turn another relatively minor virus into a huge power and wealth grab like it did the last time. But normal people aren't playing that anymore. The only people wearing masks now are freaky weirdos. No one wants the vax. No one trusts the institutions, and Americans are angry at their lies. But a pandemic could, uh, could panic. A pandemic panic could happen again because there are benefits for the left. They changed election laws because of a glorified cold, which helped Krusty squeak through. That's Joe Biden is Krusty. So they may try it again, but will it work? Or will people rebel and support Trump even though his record on COVID is far from outstanding? I think they would still go with Trump. Uh, you know, again, even though that ha- even though Trump was the one that kind of put that all into place, I still think that's going to happen if that, that does happen. So then it comes down to Tim Pool's favorite thing, which is civil war. So I called this too in my People's Republic novels. The border situation is coming to a head with a potential confrontation between Texas uh, our Governor Abbott of Texas and 24 other governors and our alleged president. The fact is that the Constitution requires Joe Biden to both enforce the laws and protect the states from invasion, but he is willfully doing neither. That makes for a constitutional crisis, one completely of Joe Biden's doing, although the regime media is screaming that it's all Texas's fault for not meekly submitting to federal abuse and neglect. I don't think we're going to have another Gettysburg, but Joe Biden is a stupid, malignant man, and his administration is full of stupid, malignant people. Yeah, that's the biggest part of the problem. So if Trump does win, or who, if a Republican, who cares who it is really, uh, wins the next election, they need to clean house. Uh, firing like practically everybody would be a good start. And the uh, federal administration says it is entirely possible that they that they push this and provoke some sort of conflict. Then it gets scary. I think the great Fred Thompson said it best in the hunt for Red October. It says this business will get out of control. It will get out of control, and we'll be lucky to live through it. And if you don't know who Fred Thompson is, the actor, go look him up. I think he was actually in uh, uh, politics for a while. He was a Republican. Um, yes, a Republican actor, believe it or not. 
and I think he did a stint on Law and Order for a bit as well. So he's one of those that guy actors where you'll be like, I don't know the name, but you'll see him. You'll be like, oh yeah, <laughs> I know exactly who that is. Unfortunately, I don't think he is with us anymore, but uh, he still lives on in his stuff. And then the next thing is some other award. It says, of course, there are bad actors out there in the world, and Joe Biden's stupidity and weakness are inviting them to take a swing at us. The Iranians just did killing three of our troops. Whatever the Houthis are... RR, it says here, okay, so, oops, we made a boo-boo. It says, whatever the Houthis are shooting missiles at us in Lafayette, whatever the Houthis, that sentence makes no sense, but you get the point. The Houthis are shooting missiles at and laughing at us. Does North Korea, China, and Russia are also candidates for sparking some sort of hot war. If I were investing in Taiwan, I would go short right about now. Just wait until Ukraine collapses and the pressure from the globalists to intervene starts. It is entirely possible that we find ourselves sucked into some armed conflict that we are not capable of fighting because our Pentagon is a disaster and our commander-in-chief is a blithering idiot. As America has no taste for another war, at least the Americans, the elite, expect to go fight it. Those on the left are always sissies who, who left the fighting to the normals, but the normals are done. Yeah, and this is this. I was about to just go off on a tangent, but he says it right here. He says they are not enlisting, and they would not take well to a draft, which you know would have plenty of exemptions for the kid for the for the kids of the kind of people who vote for Joe Biden. Of course, yeah, they'd get out of it. So there's no American normals are fighting idiotic wars for an elite that hates them. It says if we end up sucked into a conflict, that changes everything, especially since Donald Trump has staked out his position as the peace candidate. Correct. There's impeachment hunter, hunter, excuse me, and other scandals. It says the House could get its act together and impeach Biden. It will hard. It will hard even. It will be. Even, it will even be hard for the regime media to cover it all up. Man, there are some mistakes in this thing that make this article. It just suddenly made it hard to read. So it says the sordid corruption of the senile freak will not be enough to get him booted from office, but it sure could tarnish his already tarnished images, especially if the GOP presents the evidence in a clear, calm, and competent manner. So this is one black swan. He probably does not need to worry about much. It says Biden falls out. Says, and then there's the reality that Joe Biden is about 142 years old, and he could drop dead of natural causes at any time. Or his dementia could get to such a place that he can't even fake being president any longer, no matter what they pump into his veins. They're doing a good job of that so far, but he's a lot of time, though, he tends to be like, you know, so who knows if that's going to happen. <laughs> so we might get tired of it and drop out under pressure. There are rumors that Barack Obama wants him out. And Barack's really kind of the guy running the place. So then Biden's wife, who is totally a legitimate doctor, and you should respect her a lot because that means she's smart, is never going to give up first ladyhood voluntarily. But the Democrats might not take no for an answer. The question then becomes, who comes next? And this is kind of the big question that been going around a lot recently is who is next is do they somehow slip michelle obama in ahead of kamala harris who is remarkable only because she's literally the sole human being in america dumber than joe biden and michelle obama is on record as saying she does not want to do this and they're and from james o'keefe's most recent uh video um it looks like that he had it was with a uh, an administration member it looks like that's where i got the michelle obama does not want to do it but they also said that they are trying to get uh, rid of kamala <laughs> as well it says or does gavin newsom sw uh, smarm his way t into the nomination uh he'd, he'd be a horrible candidate as well i mean he'd be a good candidate but he'd be a horrible president i mean he's destroyed california and i'm still waiting for him to answer the questions that he was asked in his debate with ron santis so uh, he probably wouldn't be able to answer anything straight anyway is the problem for trump is that his most compelling argument to independence is hey look at that guy he's terrible what if he has to go up against someone else? What will the independents do? My guess is that Biden will hold on to the bitter end, but my intuition and $4.95 will get you a couple of Starbucks. Or it says Trump falls out. And here's the scary reality. Trump is pretty old, too. I think he's, what, 77, 78? So ignore the unflattering photos and overblown slips of the tongue. He's in remarkable health and shows amazing vigor for someone his age, but he is his age. Yeah, that's true. I mean, he still bounces around like, he always did, but again, he is in his late 70s. He says there is a possibility that he could fall out because of health concerns, stroke, heart attack, who knows? He says I don't think it will happen, but it might. And there's something more sinister. You've seen the hatred the elites ha have against the ex president. As another error, I should say has against the ex the elite has, uh, not the elites. Okay, so I said it wrong. The sentence is right. My apologies. He says you've seen how they called him a threat to our democracy and a fascist and all manner of vile crabs because they don't actually know what democracy and fascist means, but okay. So there's not an impossibility that yet another leftist murderer could take aim at President Trump. If that happens, all bets are off. This country will convulse into chaos. Yeah, if that happens, there's going to be, there will be problems. So pray for his health, even if you are not supporting him in the election. 
Because something bad happening to Trump means something bad will happen to the United States. That is correct. Because we don't know what the future will bring. We don't know what shocking events will take place now between now and November. But there is one thing we can be we can absolutely predict. Something is going to happen. Something big is going to occur that will change everything. Let's just hope our country can survive it. Excellent article. Good, like, sort of, like, what if sort of thing. Or, like, these things could happen and then what do we do? I, this is a very good article. I liked it a lot. So let me know. Is there a, a black swan event that uh, you think that was not mentioned in here that you, you think could actually happen? Or of any one of these that are on here, do you think any of these could happen or will happen? Let me know in the comments below. Like, share, subscribe, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.